I'm Dave Buckwalter and uh, by profession I'm, I'm actually an engineer working in the aerospace industry but I have a, a, a part-time sawmill business called Got Logs uh, based out of uh, Fauquier County and I custom sawmill for other people, people that have trees in their yard that they want milled. Once they get them in the logs I either go on site or they'll bring them to me and I'll turn those logs into finished lumber for them. Um, either either just the boards or uh, kiln drying and, and, and they can use their lumber however they uh, desire to build something or furniture, build a house, a barn or whatever. Normally if, if I didn't have the heavy equipment here you know, we, we would roll the log up to the hydraulic loader and we'd put the log up on the mill. And, and there's a preference whether you have the small end one way or the other. Uh, sometimes it doesn't make a difference. Some sawyers prefer one or the other. The idea is to position the log for your first cut where you're going to yield the best clear lumber. So if there are any knots or defects, you, you want to rotate the log using the, the, the ro rotation claw on the mill to, to get that where that defect or that knot will be on the very edge of a finished board when, when you end up milling through so that it's not in the middle of a, of a board or because what will happen is because that knot goes all the way through to the center of the log, every board on a, on a given side of the log would have a big knot in the center of it. So your, the goal was to get that on the edge of the board uh, when you're milling if there are knots in the log. You position it or mill it depending on what the customer is asking for. Um, if, I mean, if the customer wants really wide boards, that compared to say he wants everything at four inches or six inch wide, uh, you go back to the size of your log. If, 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 for example, we did we did really wide boards today because you know it was it was a demo and we just cut the boards as wide as we could, which is about 11 or 12 inch boards. But if, if I was cutting for a customer and say he wanted six inch boards, I would have done a few things different. I would I would have cut six inch cans, the square blocks. Whatever the width of the log is, I would have came down six inches and had a six by something, and I would have set that aside and, and did another one of those until I had as many of those as I could get out of the log, and then I would load them all back on the mill together, and I could cut three of them at once and make three six-inch boards in a single cut then off of the edges of those because the vertical cuts would already be there. But because we did wide boards today, we didn't we didn't have to do that. But sometimes the customer wants a specific width. Sometimes they want whatever width the log will yield. So it, it really depends what the target finished product's going to be uh, for, for width or thickness. And if it's for thickness, the mill has the uh, computer set works on it. And I just set it for whatever thickness boards, and it calculates for the blade loss and everything so the boards are consistently the same thickness all the way through. The last log we did, we, we did what they call sawing through. We left the bark on the outer edges. Um, and that was because that was a crotch log and that would be like a specialty piece. But if we're doing boards where we're gonna have four smooth sides, top, bottom, and, and square edges, the first thing you wanna do is you, you wanna square up the log into what they call a can. So whatever, whatever the square is. And your outer boards on the first cut on each side may have some bark left on it. You do that for, for getting the highest yield out of the log. Um, you would get an arrow board if you were to trim that, that uh, wane off the edges and that little bit of bark. But um, other than that, once you get it squared, then you try to keep your best face up for your next board. And if you're doing grade sawing, you would, you would be rotating it constantly and you would end up with random width boards at the end, but you would have the best faced lumber. When I saw for the customers where they want a specific width or something like that, we do like I did today. We'll square it up, get it clean, and then we'll just cut the top and bottom off, alternating to, to minimize the stress in the log so that it doesn't build up any, any tensions and, and make the boards curve. It's, the target is to get the most yield of good usable lumber.